Hi guys, hope you're well. Today's session I'm meeting up with Jamie again and we're going point fishing. I've got a new whopper plopper surface lure I want to try. Um, and then we'll see how that goes and probably use the shad teasers again. But uh, it'd be nice to see the plopper. I have got a nice uh, plopper style on the um, western trim, but sometimes it gets tangled and doesn't give you that consistent retrieve. So we'll see what this river to sea whopper plopper 13 centimeters does also i went to try and catch a species i've never caught before the other day and that was a trout so it took a lot of research to it to try and find a venue i'd be happy to go and try but i went out armed with spinners and some crankbaits from ffs lures and i managed to get one out and here's a little clip of that video Oop. Yes, there's a fish. Now what's this? Please be a trout, don't be a chub. Don't, oh, it's a chub, I think. <laughs> Worth it anyway. No, it's, no, it's nice, a trout. Yes. Let's come on. Oh, I net. Yeah, done it. <laughs> what a great... I really thought that was a trout. I knew you didn't. Ah, yes. Look at that. Whew. Some hard work, but Eden, Tennessee shed. Absolutely beautiful. The markings. Stunning. So yeah, really, really, really happy to get I had two other takes, not really knowing what to do but I was so chuffed to actually catch one. Um, anyway, let, let's get into this session and see how we go. Right, so I'm just gonna start off by <coughs> chucking this whopper plopper out, the new one, river to sea. I'm not intending to keep it on for long, but just wanna see how it works really. A nice size, pike pattern, got a rattle in. and stick my net. My first impression is that it works really well. I'm not sure exactly where Jamie's gone is. Just trying some hidden spots I think really but yeah this is nice and consistent the only issue I had with the other western twin spot which was the other whopper plopper type I had I thought sometimes it got tangled and wouldn't go round but this is like a much more stiffer one so it might be a bit more consistent <laughs> you'll be able to hear that from a mile off let's try around this edge <laughs> oh, there's usually one round that edge. And only a little one. Before I take first fish on the bopper plopper. And right in the side. Could get in a mess in the net. But let's see. Looks an ideal place for the whopper plopper. I was just saying to Jamie, like fishing in open water. It's like, why would there be fish there? Why would they come up and take a surface lure? If it's around structure, I've got a lot more confidence. But I'll probably just 
overthink things and make it more complicated than what it is. But when you've like got a bay like this, with all the snags and stuff, surface lures and, and that can be more beneficial. But you've still got to watch the hooks that are dangling down. Don't get caught on sticks. I right, change the plan. I'm going to put 12 centimeter shad tees on, 15 gram jig head, so I can cast it out, retrieve it quick, cover as much water as possible, then probably put a whopper plopper on when I get to the corners. Let's see how this goes. That's the bottom end too. Bad, I don't think. I'm just going to let it sink to the bottom and then quick retrieving. Not giving a pike a chance to think about it, they'll either take it or miss it. I'm just going to I don't want to nick it off you. <laughs> um, back down to the nines, 10 gram. Just for the pure liquors. Just trying to catch now, so even if micro pike are around, I might feel better taking this than 12 centimeter, even though Jamie's had a take from a tiny pike on his big glider. Just gonna bounce it off the bottom, a couple of turns, let it sink. Just got the 10 gram on just to give me that extra distance really but I know the payoff of that is that it's going to sink quicker. But we'll see how this goes. Oh for God's sake, those twigs, they don't half feel like a fish. Because you pull them and they've got that bit of give and jab into the bottom which makes you feel like it's a fish. Yay! See, the move worked. Go smaller. Go smaller works. I've caught a couple of blinking twigs and uh, you think they're a fish because you strike and they move and then when they knock on the bottom it's like hey <clears throat> and down the corner come on come to your voice a bit mate come over to your with your voice <clears throat> on the glider Okay, my neck is nearly coming off. Hey, look nice that edge did. It did, did didn't it? Oh, not bad one either. Nice so uh, colours. And then it's mad how they're all different. Yeah. They're all so different. Yeah, it's a lake, isn't it? It's like this lake looks a bit more coloured to the, the yeah, like one. dark golds and then it's quite it's a light tough. one, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. 
a long walk to get your waders this time mate So what's happened here then, there's a low rod down here with line going into the water and no one around. I wonder what's, uh, I wonder what's took place here. Maybe this chap might know. So uh, what's happened here Jay? How come you got your waders on? I'm stuck in the edge mate. Bit of a warm day for waders ain't it? Right. Let's hope you don't sink in there. Don't snap it off. It won't come no further than that. Either. Well, I really hope you don't slip over in there. Oh, yeah. Are you sinking? Is it softer than you thought? It's getting deeper. <laughs> it's a good job no one's here to see it. Hey! Where there's a will, there's a way. And he's like a swamp monster coming out there. <laughs> Interesting thing about this capture of Jamie's fish. I fished here first with the 9cm shad tees and had no luck. And I said to Jamie, try your blider in, the, in this peg. And I think within like the first or second cast, this fish came up and nailed it. He must have been there when I was putting my uh, shad through. And you would have thought that that would have took it with the size and that and it just gets you thinking it's like we get stuck in our way sometimes and just stay with the same lure maybe if we swapped up a little more by going to like a hard bait or spinner bait or something else you might get that extra fish Yes, I always like the look of this corner. Another small one, but a fish to the tally. What's the main thing? 